everybody, Dr. Talk 7 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spiral Reignited Trilogy, Spiral Year of the Dragon. In this video, we cleared through the midday gardens, and now we're in Evening Lake. So let's get going. I have no doubt in my mind that this one's going to be much, much longer. You know, fun fact, when I was playing Spyro 3 when I was a kid, back in the PlayStation days, there was that the music I remember hearing it. The music I heard from Evening Lake was the first world music. Hi again, Spyro. This power-up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past them. Alright. <laughs> oh, an egg. Ted. Hello, huh? The sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Very well then. I was having a rather good time poking him with a stick anyway. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> 
It's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine now! <laughs> ah, the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes! <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! <laughs> One more, perhaps? At least. <laughs> Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. It sounds poetic. <laughs> Let's go. I will gladly help you on your quest, Sparrow. But first, I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. It'd be really cool if you smashed that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're in the way. Move it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> hey. I heard those big bullies calling you a wuss. You're not going to let them get away with that, are you? This is a smashing machine. If you use your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong, I bet we can make the roof cave in. Oh, that was weird. Brian. Cell phone. Another gong. Great. I bet we can cause an avalanche with this one. A stink 
Rocky and Roanock has blocked the way with this box. It shouldn't be any problem for you to push it out of the way, though. Yep. Charlie! Hey Brainiac, you're supposed to be smart. Why don't you try pushing those blocks around to bridge that gap? Thanks, bro. Here's a little something for your rock collection.
There it is. Hannah. Welcome to Frozen Altars, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Thanks. Some bearer sold us a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox. But with these flippers, I can't even turn it on. You'd have no trouble using it, though. Just walk inside. When you're done, press the action button and you'll walk back out. Maybe you could use the laser to melt that ice block as well. Maybe you could use them. When I get my flippers on that rotten bear. Eustace and I were having a snowman building competition when the sorceress brought them to life with a spell. Since then, they've been stomping around building ice walls and generally causing trouble. What if you tried melting the snowman using the laser? I do it myself, but you know, the flippers. Dude. What if you tried melting the... What if you tried... Uh, I did that. It would be easy to get up to that treasure if you had something to stand on. An ice block, yeah. That's what you need to reach that treasure. Now how are we going to get one around here? I feel really cold. <laughs> you got frozen. Duh. Welcome, Monk Team Dragon. Oh, Spyro! 
I have just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with the Yeti. That dumb Yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back and you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. I knew you'd do it. Go and show him not to mess with us. Remember to block his high punches and hit him low when he tries to block. Here we go. showed him. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't my ball. It's an egg. You should go back and kick his butt again. Make him give me my ball back. This time, it'll be a three-round match. And when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. I forgot I lent it to Eugene yesterday. <laughs> no harm done, right? No harm done? You may be fighting Yeti for no reason. Thanks for helping out, Spyro. Why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry it with a laser, but you stopped him just in time. <laughs> Jana. 
Say, Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy weensy markup. Okay. Off you go, then, but you'll regret it. Many years from now, you'll sit on your old dragon haunches and wish with all your might for just one more chance to see a game of cat hockey. <laughs> Head on in, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. In fact, <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoch team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last-minute accidents. <laughs> Hate to spoil the game for you, Spyro, but I've already bribed the local team to forfeit to the Rhinox. Wow, you're a douche. Like, seriously, make a douche. I challenged a Rhinox to a traditional game of cat hockey, but I think I sprained my flipper while training. Would you mind taking my place? Great. Freeze the cats and push them into my goal to score. Alright. Comes the cat. I swear this is even more ridiculous. Done. I think you deserve to keep the Champion's Cup. You gave that Rhinox such a drubbing. He's retired from the sport for good. Think you've had it, then you let it go. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Jasper. What if you tried? Alright, so you already did that.
Six hundred gems. Fireworks factory. <laughs> this one's memorable. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, hello! It's good to see you again, Spyro. That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's rocket plans, and I'm on a secret mission to find them. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you could help. Okay. I love this kind of music. Great. Respawning enemies. You'll have to use this cannon to get across here. Simply climb aboard. As for me, I just have to free my mind. And... Wow. What a leap.
find you, but it's out of reach. You'll have to take the long way around through these Rhinox to get to it. Watch out for that lava. It looks super hot. Take out these fire dragons. It will allow you to super fly and super flame at the same time.
Okay. Ah, you. Fished it out of the molten lava. <sighs> Finally. Oh, what a nightmare. <laughs> I knew those monsters would be no match for you. Was there any other dogs? Put it into orbit. If you see Handel, tell him I've gone back to Evening Lake to finish work on the Professor's Walk-In. Dear Sparrow, or whatever your name is, give it up! I've got the monkey and I'm not giving it back. The sorceress.
Then we move on to the next level. Dumbass hunter. Must fleet. <laughs> you be careful around these parts, little dragon. There be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I can shake my pick at. Darn shame, too, because I was mighty close to finding my treasure. <laughs> I mean, that's really, yeah. Sounds like Sheila's level. Only with the piratey sound. So it's Australian with the pirate sound. Huh. Strange. my treasure be this way but we'll have to blast through this blooming ship to get to it mm -hmm. I reckon
Some fool hid a daggum egg in my treasure. <laughs> Craig. And you're gone. Dragon, did your friend go bye bye? No, no, don't worry, you'll soon be joining him.
had. used to be my favorite diving spot, but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Think you can pilot this here sub I bought for scrap? Okay. Alrighty then. Press the jump button to speed on up. And when you get a sub in your sights, the torpedo will start to lock on. If you get a good lock on, fire away with the attack button. Alright. Let's go. some mean sub-driving skills. Why don't you have this here egg as a reward? Reward? Evil. <laughs> well, I hate to ask your help again. There'll be even more subs that don't come out of nowheres. If you could blast them, I could use this acid lake as my swimming hole again. All right. Darn tootin'. Get on, little dragon. Get on, little dragon. Eddie on now. the acid lake is safe for swimming again. I wish I could reward you better, but all I got left is this here other egg. Maybe there'll be something better in this one.
can you? Another two hour vid. <sighs> we had enough pain up for this, and as it is. <clears throat> Hello. I thought you might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring any chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes, this was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back, if you let me go. I'm sorry. I can't. Huh. Now, there should be another portal here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Charmed Ridge.
<laughs> oh. Spyro, we urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle and captured our princess. If we don't stop them right away, they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. Still liking this music. right away the princess will be forced to marry that loser prince asriel <laughs> that loser Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. Suit yourself, Spyro. But every time I think of that poor, poor fairy princess being captured by those villainous wizards, I simply break down in tears. You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. Oh, and uh, best of luck rescuing that princess, or whatever it is you're up to. You know, come to think of it, the wizards only agreed to raise the steps. They never said they wouldn't lower them again. <laughs> Those guys are pretty clever, aren't they? <sighs> That was a punch gloves. In the original, they were sharp spears. What's too intimidating for you? Whoops. Benjamin. There's a golden goose at the top of this here mountain. I want to be the first person to the top so I can grab it. 
I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Gross seeds from a bear with a bag of gems. He said they were magic, but I can't make them do anything. You can have a couple if you like. Okay. Well, Jim. That's what I needed. Get up here. No rhyme or reason. I found this egg on the way up here. I think it was laid by a golden goose. We'll have to keep going. We're almost to the top. Shelly. <laughs> You've been doing great so far. Why don't you take two more seats? Legendary Golden Goose! You can have another one of its eggs as a souvenir! <laughs> Chuck. That's the 
the ugliest goose I've ever seen. Ow. Spyro, isn't Prince Asriel just the dreamiest? The other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Asriel says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. Okay. Sakura. Spyro, I'd like to stay and chat, but I'm late for a, uh, <clears throat> an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Uh, uh, just a friend, you understand. Strictly platonic relationship. Uh, certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. Uh, what? What are you giving me that look for? <laughs> You're flustered. Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. I guess it doesn't matter though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We just have to call off our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. I see those rocket launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because there are still a lot more witches in the temple. Okay, okay, chill. I must admit, James, I am impressed. 
There are still a few witches left, though, and this time they mean business. They even turn the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh, do be careful, okay? Oh, you're still concerned. of the hummingbird resistance movement for nothing. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. Go up, we go again. Oh, jerks.
<laughs> All right. See that. Okay. 
man, it's not exactly the striking kind of music, though. I'd say out of the speedway music, I'd say it's the last. Oh. There we go. There's the finish last. Attention dragon, you don't want to see him, but maybe here once. video wasn't as long as I thought. Hopefully. Let's go. Midnight Mountain. Up, up and away! create a monster to end all monsters <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons even the little hatchlings yes yes it will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them oh yes smear them and smush them and crack them and crease them let me out of here you but uh, won't that kill them <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as I can still collect their wings! What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl! I need them for a spell so I can live forever! Uh, wait a second. A, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? If I had my blaster, you'd be singing a different tune! You know what I mean? You said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them! I don't have to kill them! It just stops them from wriggling so much! You're terrible! I can't believe I ever listened to you! Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. <laughs> well, this is gonna get real ugly. <laughs> ah. Oh, jeez. I don't like where this is going. This might be our last stand, Sparrow. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. Thanks, Bentley. 
Let's go. Okay, of Bianca, did you bring any more food? I'm starving. There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. <sighs> I never thought we were going to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. <laughs> huh. I think that's where we'll stop. Uh, man, what a trip. Thankfully, this will be over soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this long video again. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all on Midnight Mountain. Bye!